In today's Sunday Solution, Randy's going to answer three of the most asked questions in the forums. It's time for another Sunday Solution. Let's, Let's go. go. Here's one of the most asked questions I see in the forums. It's asked by new RVers as well as some of the older veterans, so to speak. And that question is, what does this red button do? Oh, I've wondered. Everybody wants to know what the red button does because there's nothing there. Back in the old days, old time truckers would know what that button is because it's been in trucks for a long time heavy trucks so any guesses on what the red button does the red button is for your mirror heat so in icy conditions your mirrors won't ice up that's what it does so you just turn the red button on when you're in below freezing weather and that'll keep the ice off your mirrors it also keeps them dry in rainy conditions so keeps all the water from forming on there from the road mist. Now I won't panic when Woody turns it on at the gas station. Oh, do you? you panic? I panic. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's number one. All right. Number two. How do I get this little knob in here that Tiff and, and their Freightliner put in to work my wipers? And the secret to that is very simple. One little 20 cent O-ring. And what I mean by that is, you just push this O-ring right over top of the knob. And looky there, easy to turn on, easy to turn off. Especially if you're a little bit older and your hands might be a, a little arthritic makes life a lot easier than trying to grab that knob driving down the road at 65 miles an hour. So that's that one. Andy dandy randy info. I'll put a link in from the O-rings that I purchased. I got them at uh, Harbor Freight, I believe. But I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the description. And it's simple and it costs nothing. So no, hardly anything. And here's the, uh, here's the biggest question I see. So we just did a video on a check engine light and the check engine light comes on and nobody can ever remember how to get this toggle which does all your information on your screen to work and it's pretty simple once you remember it um, all you have to do is hold it over to the right for five seconds and it's going to take you to another screen got setup maintenance diagnostics if you have a check engine code you want to go into diagnostics so you hit the button one more time and then I'll check your gauges which if you want to do that it'll run through all the gauges see the gauges doing their little things and uh, it'll do that make sure your gauges are all working and you can go to your icons. You, if you want to do that, you can check your icons and that'll run through all the icons on your desk. Make sure they're all working. If you want to do that, these are things if you want to do. There's, there's all kinds of things in here you can do. So we're going back to the check engine part. You want to go down to engine diagnostics. This is for your check engine light. Your check engine light pops on and you want to go in and see what's wrong with it. You hit that one time. Now, what will happen is if you have a check engine light, right now I don't have any faults, so I have zero active faults. But if you have a check engine light, it'll come up one active fault or two active faults or how many ever faults you have. And then once that's showing, if you have a fault, it'll give you the, you hit it one more time after it goes through the cycle and it'll show you the code. And I'll put a link of what the code looks like. And then all you have to do is a Google search or call uh, Cummins or Freightliner and give them the code, typically Cummins if you have a Cummins motor. Um, 
and that'll give you the code and then you just they'll tell you what it is or you can google it most nine times out of ten you can find it on there so to get back you just push to the left and you can go to your maintenance schedule in here you hit to the right again that checks your engine oil when it's due uh, you can change when you want it to be due in here it's very simple you just click to the right and you go up and down to what you want to do and then hold it to the right once you get it where you want it and it'll just keep holding it and then it'll blink there so it's done um, and then if you want to clear it out let's say you're changing your own oil and you want to clear it out you just hit verify service done hold it to the right it'll blink and boom you're done so now it resets that so you don't get that warning and you only do that when you uh you know change your oil and filters and stuff like that so always remember left gets you back to the previous screen which is this is the driving screen right here odometer and then hold it to the right and you will get into that screen now set up if you click right again you can set your time and date you can configure your checklist which is this is your checklist that shows before you take off all right, and oh, let me do that again. I just clicked one off. So configure checklist and hit it to the right and the checkbox will light up. You hit it to the right again, it takes the check off. So just like that, you can select metric or English, display properties, and display properties are like for when you have your headlights on, they dim the dash and all that kind of stuff. So there's nothing really in here that you can hurt it's all, uh, you know, basic stuff. So, again, left gets you out, gets you back to the regular screen. So you can do it with the coach running, or you can do it with the coach off and in the accessory mode. And you just hold it over to the right for five seconds, and you'll enter the uh, screen for the diagnostics and maintenance and setup. All right, so that's the three most asked questions that we see in the uh, forums. Um, hope this helps out. Helps you out if you get a check engine light. You can always refer back to the video and and instead of trying to look at the chart, the chart they give you, and I'll put a link for that in the in the uh, video. It's kind of confusing. It, it really, it's not meant to be confusing, but it kind of is. So, um, for me anyway, I'm a visual kind of learner. So I do it that way. But if you guys have any um, any asked questions that you see a lot of or anything that uh, you think we should add, then uh, let us know. Drop it in the comments. I uh, hope you enjoyed this Sunday solution. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace, Peace love.